Namaste and welcome. Um, I'd like to ask you to come and join us and with a little yoga today. I have Lalita Jewel and Cashel joining me today. And we'd love for you to grab a yoga mat. If you haven't got one, don't worry. You can just use the floor or a blanket and towel or towel and you can join us to have a little bit of fun and to stretch and strengthen our bodies and to raise our energy and vibration. So at the moment we're sitting with our hands in Anjali Mudra or Pranamasana with a little gentle pressure at our heart, energetic heart center and we'd like to say to you all Namaste. 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 And thank you for joining namaste. us. And Namaste means that the there's many different interpretations, but it really means that the love and light in my heart sees the love and light in yours. So thank you for joining us. So I'm going to ask that if you're at home, you come to sit cross-legged and have a nice straight spine. Can you straighten your spine, Lalita, to show everybody? Beautiful. And Cashel's spine is nice and straight. And relax your shoulders away from your ears. Lovely. And once your spine, you can drop your hands down to your knees. Once your spine is straight, your heart spaces are open, which is really important so that we can draw all our life-giving energy into the body and into our heart. And, and, if, and if you haven't already, I'm going to ask that you try breathing through the nose, in through the nose and out through the nose. Kashua and Lalita will show you now that they take a deep breath in through their nose, their mouths are closed, and then they exhale through their nose as well. When you breathe in, swell your belly. Breathe in, push the belly out, and when you breathe out, the navel moves back into the spine. This is the yogi breath. Breathe in, swell the belly. Breathe out, the belly goes in. And if you have a blocked nose, then feel free to use your mouth if you need to. So let's do three big inhalations and exhalations before we start to move and bring the body to complete stillness. You might like to try closing your eyes to do it. It's beautiful to close your eyes and breathe. Well done. Close your eyes. Inhale a deep breath in. Exhale. And now we're going to breathe in happiness. And breathe out peace. You might need to take some more deep breaths, Lolita Jules, if you're feeling a little tired. Take a deep breath in, breathe in happiness, and breathe out peace to everybody. So we're going to start this little session with three little rings on our singing bowl, and you can listen to the vibration at home, and we'll listen to the vibration here, and then we're going to start moving. You might like to, if you're at home, stay very still and with your eyes closed to listen and see if you can feel the vibration. Thank you. I can feel it. Good, so can I. So, the first thing we're gonna show you today is a little pose called child's pose. And if we were to lean forward and come to our knees, we're gonna to come to our knees, ready to drill. And start with a nice straight spine. Sitting your bottom over your heels, relax your shoulders, inhale, draw the breath up the body, grow a little taller. And then as you exhale, hinge forward from the hips, and bring the forehead all the way down to the floor. And staying there on the floor, if you stay down there on the floor, the back is nice and soft and arched. 
and the hands come back behind you and the, and the palms are to the sky and your forehead rests on the floor. Now, I'm gonna ask you to use your imagination. Your eyes are closed. Come inside to the space on the inside of your head. And like the inside of the forehead is a movie screen, look at the space. I want you to use your imagination and I'm gonna call out some images and I'm gonna ask you to see if you can flash them up on this movie screen on the inside of your head. Happy images that will make you feel peaceful and happy and safe. So the first image that I want you to flash up on that movie screen is a red balloon. A red balloon, see a red balloon. And then a beautiful rainbow, a beautiful rainbow over a blue sky. And then I'm gonna ask you to see a big hot air balloon, a big hot air balloon drifting up into the sky. And then visualize your favorite soft toy. Do you have a favorite soft toy or your favorite toy? It doesn't need to be a soft one. Yeah, so visualize that on the inside of your forehead. And then we're going to just see if we can see blue sky. See if you can see blue sky on the inside of the forehead. Blue sky. And think now about your breath. And before we come up out of child, we're going to take three deep breaths. Breathe in through the nose, and as you breathe in fully, your belly presses into your thighs. And as you exhale, the navel draws back to the spine. Breath number two. Big deep breath in. Exhale. Breath number three. Big deep breath in. Exhale. Beautiful. And then, slowly now, contract your navel or your tummy button, which means to draw your tummy back button in a little, and then safely come all the way up to sitting on your heels. Kashal and Lalita, come all the way up now to be sitting on your heels. Beautiful. Well done. Nice and slowly. Nice and slowly. Okay. So now we're going to do a little bit of work on our... I'm not going to rub you back just at the moment because we're going to keep on moving. We're going to create little waterfalls with our hands. So I want you to use your imagination. We're going to come up onto our knees and we're going to lean back and we're going to pretend that there's water flowing from our hands back behind us like a big beautiful waterfall. Do you think you can do that? Okay, so let's sit down. Oops, careful. Sit down. Bottom, bottoms on the heels. Are we ready to create our waterfalls? So don't forget to use your breath because it's as you breathe out that the water flows from your fingertips back behind you like a big waterfall. Breathing in. Exhale the water all the way over the head behind you and then come all the way back down. We're going to do it twice more, create two more big waterfalls. Inhale, up, blow, all the water flows out as you exhale, and then down. Don't fall over, try and be safe, Lalita Jill, especially as you're helping and showing people what to do. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Try and follow Cashel. Try not to fall over like Lalita Jewel. <laughs> so what I'd like you to do next is, I thought that we might all like to sweep our feet to the side and become butterflies. These are just some simple little asanas to help these. This little butterfly helps you to open up your hips and lengthen your spine. So you interlace your fingers under your feet, bring your feet in towards your bottom, and then like a butterfly, flap your beautiful wings. And while your wings are flapping, use your imagination. 
to decide what color your butterfly is and where it's flying my, off to. My color is purple because it's my favorite color. Lalita Jules' butterfly is purple because it's her favorite color. And where is your butterfly flying to? New Zealand, perfect. And Cashel, sitting up nice and straight with your spine, relax your shoulders, relax your shoulders, relax. Tell us what color is your butterfly? Red. Red, and where is it flying to? Um, uh, the library? The library, okay, interesting. So now, bring that. Bringing your knee, don't worry about that. Now, bringing your knees together, I'm going to ask you to become a tight little ball, like you were a very small little bunny rabbit. And if you were to lift up your hands and place them at the top of your head, fingers out, Lolita, these would become your ears, and you would be a tight little bunny rabbit. And then releasing the hands holding on to your legs release them out in front of you and we're going to make your favorite sandwich and your legs are going to be one piece of bread and your upper body is going to be the second piece of bread but first of all we have to put our toppings on our sandwich Okay, so, and if you're at home and you find it hard to put both pieces of bread together, that's all right, because you can bend your knees when you do that. But first of all, what's the first How thing? You can choose different fillings at home, but what fillings should we put on our sandwich? Something yummy. And butter. Okay, we'll tomato. put some butter. Tomato. Okay, chop some tomatoes onto your sandwich after you've done avocado. the butter avocado nice chop some avocado on go right down to the very end of your sandwich and then all the way back to where it begins what would you like to put on because i'm not too sure if you're a big avocado and tomato fan so maybe you'd like to make your sandwich on your own what's yours going to have Mama? You love cheese. It's okay. Mama. Okay. Cheese. So Mama. we chop Mama. some cheese onto your sandwich and spread some marmite onto one slice as well. Marmite. Cheese. Okay. Now let's put our tops on our sandwich. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, place the top over the bottom and close your sandwich. Bend your knees as much as you need. Well done. Inhale. Take the top off your sandwich. Exhale, hinge forward. Place the top on your sandwich. One more time. Inhale. And exhale, put the top on your sandwich. And then while you're down there, have a little taste. Is your sandwich yummy? Use your imagination. Is your sandwich yummy? I bet. Good one. Okay, sitting all the way back up. Bending the knees, bending the knees, maybe using your hands behind you to push up like you're a fox. Then roll yourself forward, Lalita Joe, and come up until you're squatting like a frog. And we're going to hop. You can either hop on your mats or you can hop around the room, depending on where you are. You can have your hands on the floor and what noise does a, a frog make? Stand on your heel, your, can you flatten your feet to the floor? Up, oh, and see if you can balance. Come back up. Well, just relax and don't do anything that's going to strain or hurt you. Take it very easy. I'm gonna place my arms on the insides of my knees. Can you do that at home? Place your arms on the insides of your knees. Well done, very good. And then I'm going to inhale and take my hands above my head. 
And I like exhale it. and bring them back. I can't do the head on top of the head. It can be a bit tricky with the balance. Once more. Inhale. Exhale. Yeah. And then you love this next posture. We can lean forward, place our hands on the ground, lift our bottoms in the air, and become downward facing dogs. And what could we do if we were in downward facing dog? Could we bark? <laughs> the littlest children might like to bark. The big children might not like to bark. But I like barking. <laughs> well done. And bring your feet a little closer together. And lift your buttock all the way up okay. into the sky. Okay. And look, I've created the most beautiful bridge. Would you like to crawl underneath my bridge? And you might be able to go all the way underneath your brother's bridge as well. Oh, oh look, we're creating two bridges or, or two mountains, aren't we? Yeah. Well done. Nice and breathing deeply here and relaxing. Mm. Big breath. In and out through the nose once more. Excellent. Now, if you would like to move up from underneath my bridge, Lolita Jewel, I'm going to drop down. Excuse me, I can't drop down with you there. I'm going to drop down onto all fours and we're going to become cats. Okay, so as we, would you like to become a cat? Yeah. We can lift up our heads and look at the, our eyebrow center and go meow. And then, we, and then we can push into the heels of our hands and arch our back and purr. Meow as we inhale and then exhale. You'll have to move over onto your mat again, Delilah, Dalita Jewel to become your cat, otherwise I can't do the cat. Inhale, meow, meow. <coughs> Exhale, purr. <coughs> and then I'm gonna step all the way back and I'm gonna come all the way down onto my tummy. And what would we do if we're on our tummy, Cashel? Um, sure. But what posture should we do? Cobra. cobra. I think we should. We should all do cobras. Cobras are Ow. snakes. Ow. And we could, Ow, well, be careful, we could hiss like a snake as we come up. Are you ready? Inhale. Push into your hand. I can't do this anymore. Exhale, release. So remember that you're your tummy, the bottom part of your tummy stays on the floor, just the very bottom part, and the fronts of the legs stay on the floor, and try not to um, hyperextend your arms, which means don't lock your elbows in place. Make your arms nice and soft, even though they're strong. Inhale, coming up, and if you have a look at Prima Loca's arms, she's got a little bend in them, and the insides of the elbows are facing each other. I'm going to tuck my toes under and push a little further forward and then arch up like the snake and Cash is going to hiss for me. And once you've done the snake for a little while, a nice thing to do for your back is to come back to the child's pose. So you can come all the way up onto your knees and push all the way back into your child again. Lalita Jewel likes to have her back rubbed in child's pose. So if you have your mummy or your daddy helping you with your yoga today, they could tickle your back or rub your back for you. So we, um, that's probably enough postures today. Should we put one more posture in? One more? Okay, Kasha, what should... The tiger. Okay, well what I thought maybe you could do is you could each do a posture to show everyone of your own. So Lalita Jewel is going to do the tiger. You come over into the middle and show everybody how to do the tiger. 
Ah, that's a tricky one. Oh, that's sort of like a side, a side plant tiger. Wow. Because you can use your imagination and as long as you're safe, you can make up your own yoga postures. So and the can, tiger isn't just that. This is the side tiger. That's the side tiger. That and is, this is the, the full tiger. Okay, Lolita Jewel loves to do handstands. Make sure that you're in a safe place if you're going to do a handstand. And what are you going to show us, Cashel? Um, or we can all do it together. I don't really. Oh. I thought you said you wanted to do one more. Shall we do the tree? Oh, Shall yeah, we end with the tree? Okay, so well, join us. Um, you I'm might not quite be able to see my head so that we could get everybody in, but. What you want to do is stand on one foot, place the other foot, try not to fall over. It does require a little bit of balance. Mom, can I hold on to something? Yeah, sure. Feel free to hold on to something at home. I'm not going to try and bend down so much so that you can see my head just a little. You can bend down and then I'm going to stand up tall and become a nice tall tree that grows. And you can be a tall tree for one side and then when you've wobbled around and need to move out of it you can step out and make sure that you become a tall tree to the other side i don't know if i went far far back i might be able to be a tall tree that you could see lolita jewel's already having her rest now a tall tree that perhaps you can see beautiful and you hold and you look out in front of you and you try and focus on something that's not moving so that you don't wobble around too much okay so that's all the asanas that we're going to do today but we thought that it might be really nice for you to learn a little breath work we started off with a few deep breaths didn't we in and out of the nostrils and we thought it might be really nice to, which breath should we show today? Okay, so we might just do the um, alternate nostril breath using our imagination. So if I'd ask you to close your eyes, once again, you're on the inside of your head, perhaps looking at the back of your nose. And we're going to Use our imagination and pretend pretend that as we breathe in, we're only breathing in through one side of the nose. And as we breathe out, we breathe out the other side. So closing your eyes if they're not closed already. Sitting with a nice straight spine, beautiful, so that our heart spaces are fully open and leave your hands where they are. If you're sitting in cross-legged, you can join your thumb and forefinger in a little mudra, which is like a circuit, just connecting our energy to the energy around us. So the eyes are closed, the spine is straight, the shoulders are relaxed away from the ears, and just using your imagination for a minute, Breathe in and imagine the breath enters through the nostrils in a stream of color, like a colorful ribbon entering in the right nostril and leaving through the left nostril. And then as you next breathe in, you enter and the ribbon of color moves up the right nostril and down the left. And just continue this. The whole body stays still, just the breath entering and leaving the nose. But you and the, it the spine is relaxed and straight and the shoulders are soft and you're very still. And as you inhale through the right side of the nose and the stream of color, the belly balloons up. And as you exhale down the left side, the belly moves back towards the spine. And we're just going to do this twice more. Make sure the breath is big and full and long. One more big breath in and out through the nostrils. Well done. 
And now, relax. I'm gonna ask you to lay down for just a minute. See if you can stay very still for a minute. Lay down, Cash. I'd like to ask you to lay down in Shavasana if you can, which would be laying on your back. But if it's all right, if you want to lay on your tummy as well. In Shavasana, which is the pose of pure bliss and relaxation, you're on your back. I'll just move this because it's a bit too much of a bend to your neck there, Cashel. And your legs are apart a little bit and your feet splay out to the sides and the arms are away from the outside edges of the body and the palms are to the sky. And you can join your thumb and your forefinger and chin mudra and you close your eyes. The most important part is to have your eyes closed and to be perfectly still and perfectly quiet just a minute. The first thing that I'm going to ask you to do is wherever you're doing this, perfectly still and perfectly quiet, I'm going to ask you to listen to the sounds that surround you. Little sounds. Don't make any noise and don't say what they are. Just listen. Just listen to sounds. I want to see if you can hear sounds in nature around you. Perhaps listen to the birds. Can you hear the wind? Can you hear cars driving past? Can you hear your heart beating? Can you hear your breath? Listen. Can you hear your breath? Your breath is like waves of water on the ocean. Breathe deeply and relax and listen waves on the ocean. And then when you're very still and you're listening to the waves on the ocean, see if you can see on the inside of that screen on the inside of your head. See if you can see a huge blue sky and drifting in the blue sky is one red balloon. See if you can see the one red balloon drifting in the sky. the balloon until it drifts so far away that it's just one pinprick of red in the blue sky. mantra because it's a beautiful mantra for children to sing. Would you like to join us, Delita Jewel, or do you want to sing from where you are? 
Okay, are you ready? We're going to say Om Guru Hwa Swaha Tat Save To Vare Inyam Bago Devasya Dimahi Dio Yona Prachodayat Sure you don't want to join us, Peter, so put it up. Om Bhu Swaha Tat Save To Vare Nyam Bhago Devasya Dimahi Dio Yona Prachodayat And we'd like to finish with saying Namaste Namaste the love and light in my heart sees the love and light in your heart. And we hope that you enjoyed this little session of yoga with us today. And we hope to bring you some more over the next few weeks. Hari Om Tatsat. Thank you.